Hello everyone, very quickly I would like to talk about uh, developments in human consciousness, simply where Mr. Within finds that the uh, human vision is going, right? There's a reference, right? We're considering we're something, so let's see how the something's evolving. So when you look at human consciousness, you're not just acknowledging the transition of the objective world or just the object or the body. You're not, it's not just like the body is changing, evolving to the ape. It's the whole plane of existence evolving. It's the whole reality evolving. When you realize there's this kind of existential growth, it's one where you forgot you were growing too. It's as if man was so convinced by science textbooks that he was an object and he forgot that everything in this life is growing and expanding. There is a shift. And expansion is man's interpretation, but when he goes into its director's experience, he is all that is. Do you see? So it's kind of seeing that we are in where man is at first is in his awareness. And in his awareness, there is moments where he is confronted by the unknown as an object that knows something. And he needs to see how long he wants to maintain this. You need to see human communication is a luxury. And once you really become existentially self-aware, Mr. Within finds if you're a very self-aware being, like you've really looked at life, you know. Some people go through immense amounts of suffering, but they still don't look at life. Do you recognize this? So if you have looked at life and you're like, okay, I am beyond any physical transition. I am the observer of this moment. And where does this intelligence lead? You begin to see that the actuality is aspects of emptiness where new formats can come. So what that means is when you see a being is getting new ideas, that means that being's experience of emptiness is becoming more. It's as if that being has more experience of emptiness, so that's why there's constant new ideas. Sometimes I, the, the ideas are connected there. For example, when I say a tree, the f idea of a force is there beforehand. Do you see this? Ideas are always connected, and if we take our existential sensitivity and we just get a le subtle level of meditation to what thought is and what thought form is, we will become aware of that space within us before the manifestation of such communication. And so it's very important for us, it's very important for mankind to recognize this because his collective consciousness needs him to uh, handle these challenges. So first challenge of mankind, you don't know where you are, you don't know what you are, begin looking. And when the search stops, that's dangerous. When the search stops and people are searching more YouTube videos and cat videos and, I don't know, other videos, you begin to see it's like, um, what are we searching for in this life and do we need an uh, internet browser, really? So it's very important for you to see that as you explore your life experience, you are getting many new considerations of your life process in the sense that you are giving yourself new frameworks of ability. So what that means is you're suffering because there's someone to suffer. And once you become aware, you, you realize that person who's suffering is your consideration of what you're holding yourself to be. And so when you see the whole point of you existing is existential allowance, so it's not just only a family-based thing, it's, it's that you're here to be expressed as a life form. And so this knowing is your clarity in how sincerely you're allowing self-experience to be a natural phenomena that is you. For then man will have the clarity to work with multidimensionality in which there will be new renaissances from a greater state of consciousness. So what that means is think of it this way. If you're living in the city, generally there's a certain gravitation to a certain kind of mentality and level of, let's say, peace. So what that means is the media in cities and whatnot, let's say the urban areas, there's a certain amount of peace you get because there's certain imagery being projected all the time, right? Now, let us say if you were self-observant while you were in that imagery, you see that that all imagery is still up to your interpretation. And so belief only matters when there's an audience. When there's no audience, you don't care if you believe it or not. You just want to see, okay, is this the truth? Am I experiencing it? What time's the party? Is the party happening or not? You know, it's like you need to be aware of this existential party to see where the origin of your being is, you know. And so the comfort of a human being is not coming from a human being, but the awareness of how a form is placed in a formless observance. You are clear as the nature that you are.
So it's a natural thing that you're clear. The illusion is just an unnatural and insensitive approach to life which you're having where you think ideas are the rulers, but all rulers were just measurement. And so who is measuring? Does an experiencer need to measure or is it the whole moment, not just a certain aspect of the moment? You can see that many people have said meditate on objective things. You can, but you can also see that you can meditate on subjective things. And as you do, you get an awareness to where that is happening and where that environment is. And you are extending your subtler awareness into your subtler planes of abstraction. It's very important. Mr. Within understands that we need to plant seeds for this new renaissance of multidimensional understanding to happen. And the seeds have been planted because it's a cyclical thing. It's a natural thing. It's as if the way that the world is living right now, uh, we need to be aware of human communication more than what human communication is creating in regards to a simulation of a reality and also many different projections of what real could be or could not be. Our confusion is self-created and that's when clarity is confused in an illusion where it can't get out of. You're always present here and your existential awareness is your freedom, not your idea awareness, not the thinker trying to th get some new thoughts. Thought comes after you are existentially directly experiencing it. So what that means is there's two ways of thinking, let's say. There's a, there's a speaker, let's say there's two ways uh, there, there can be a public speaker. A public speaker can be one who's, oh my God, sitting, sitting, writing plan, making notes, making PowerPoints, making so many other things, and going very prepared into the moment. Or a public speaker can go very unprepared into the moment without any preparation and simply look at the present moment and receive his stage and then communicate. Do you see? The difference is that preparation on one angle creates a reality that limits you from the actuality of your directest experience and on another level you are already directly experiencing it because you're not holding on to anything. And so when they said travel light, you know, there's, there's a reason for, for that. There is a reason for recognizing that uh, when we let go we are giving ourselves an allowance to be in new ways. So what that means is sometimes some things happen to you which you might not understand. Like literally you might not understand. It's like, why did that happen? I don't get it. You know? And that's fine. Observe the nature of being and the nature of that manifestation rather than bashing it as an idea. Rather than trying to touch it as an idea. The minute we can talk about life, we have made our own clay and then we'll wonder if who's putting the life in this clay and we'll be like, gosh, it was always us. Man was the only variable missing in his theories because he was originating it. When out of the unknown certainty comes, that certainty belongs to nothing. And so that is where the realization of man is the acceptance of the totality of this communication, which the moment is always the clarification of. Be aware of the moment of being you are, then let the human ideology flow. And do not think ideas are yours, rather see them as you are aware of ideas. Like you go to a forest, you're aware of trees around you. You go to a certain place, you're aware of ideas. And then you see intuition never belonged to a self that knew. You weren't somebody great. You were the greatness that was in somebody regardless of the time and space of that conception. And your awareness of that greatness is your initiation and your greater ability. So you are flowing, in with li flowing with life and your intuition is simply the external sign of your most internal trust in the origination of the presence that you are. Be present, be now, and contribute through your greatest communication of what multidimensionality is. It is now time to rise beyond definition. Much blessings and Namaste.